right, Juno nominee J.W. Jones is inviting you to a very special recording. As a matter of fact, it's happening this Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, he's also a Billboard Top 10 Blues artist and one incredible guy. He joins us right now, J.W. Jones, J.Dub. <laughs> How you doing, man? It's good to have you on the show. Thank you. I man, you it. have been super busy. It's crazy, the things you've been up to. Can we talk about that Juno nomination? How cool is that? So that was 2015? Uh, yes, yes yeah. it was, yeah. And how cool is it to be nominated for a Juno? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's always great to be, they say it's great to be recognized, and it's absolutely true that it is, because uh, we worked hard on that record. It was our first uh, recording in Nashville, and it was produced by Tom Hambridge, who's a Grammy Award winner. Um, so we were thrilled when we got the nomination, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's great to be recognized. You've been keeping busy. You also won at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, so that happened last year? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's an interesting thing because it's best self-release CD. So there were over 97 entries from all over the world, and each blues society submits one from their society. And the Ottawa Blues Society submitted for us. And uh, when it got to the finals, I was thrilled, and then it won. So it was awesome. Not a bad uh, job right there. Okay, yeah. so the last album you put out, so that would be album number nine, yeah. right? Because we're recording. You're recording number 10 coming up this week. That's right. Details on that uh, in moments. But first, how about we hear a song High Temperatures, the name of the album, the name yeah. of the song as well. Yep, that's cool. right. Let's have a listen to it right here on Daytime. There you go. That is high temperature. J.W. Jones from Rogers Television's uh, uh, "Ear to the Ground." A very cool, very cool song, and it's uh, it's so neat to have you here. As you're getting excited, you're getting ready, you're getting prepped for this live recording. 
have you ever done anything like this before? No, never made a live album, so it's my first first yeah. shot at it. So what made you decide to all of a sudden, after nine albums, let's do a live one? Well, uh, before making the last record, High Temperature, I was actually thinking about making a live record at that time, and when I reached out to Colin Linden, the producer, he said, you know, by the sounds of all the things you're saying, it sounds like this would actually be better as a studio record if you come down to Nashville, so that's why we angled it that way for the last record. And then, uh, you know, people are asking us everywhere we go, which one of these records is your live album? We want a live album. So finally, I'm just saying, okay, we're going to do it. And I know, I know that live records don't do as well on the radio or with uh, awards consideration, but basically I want to make this for the fans and try to, you know, replicate what we do mm -hmm. on stage and, and put it on record. Yeah, because every time you listen to a live album, it feels like you're at the concert in case exactly. you can't make it yourself. But yeah. people can make it to this concert, which yes. is really cool. Because yeah. artists don't always open that up. Right. Uh, so it's happening at the Elmer Cultural Center, 120 Principal. Now, two nights? It's yeah. Now, why are you recording it over two nights? Two nights, well, a lot of reasons, but the main one is that we want to have two takes of every song, so mm -hmm. we can pick the better of the two takes, you know, to put on the uh, on the record. Um, but we feed off the the energy of the audience, right? So that's why we want a full house, and there are still some tickets left. So, yeah. We're gonna... Can you tell us uh, about some of the band members as well? In yeah, the of course. Jones band. Yeah, we've got Laura Greenberg on bass, who you saw in that video. She's a 2018 Maple Blues Award winner for Bass Player of the Year this Amazing. year. And uh, our new drummer, Will Loray, and uh, he's fantastic as well. So they're, they're just a great band. They're, they've been the ones on, on the road with me, you know, for, mm -hmm. for months and months now for Will and, and several years for Laura. Okay. And now we, we've got to do some boasting here because I can't have you on the show and not highlight some of the amazing things. <laughs> I mean, it's enough to be up for the Juno uh, and, you know, the Billboard Top 10 Blues Artist nomination or, or recognition. Buddy Guy has performed with you a couple of times. Now, he's, it doesn't get much bigger than Buddy Guy. What's it like when you're on stage with Buddy Guy? Well, I'll tell you what it was like the first time. My legs were shaking in my pants. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we were, at, um, we were at Buddy Guy's Legends in Chicago, and um, the sound guy comes up to me and says, Hey, uh, can you play a slow blues in A on your next song? And I said, sure, but why? He goes, my dad's going to come up and sing with you. And I didn't know who his dad huh. was, so we get back up there, we're playing, and so I, I called the Slow Blues and A, and, and Buddy Guy walks up on stage and sings with us. Um, and that was kind of nerve-wracking because it was the first time. But then after that, he said, uh, hey, man, where are you from? I said, I'm from Ottawa. He said, well, we're going to be playing up there. Will you come join us? So I played with his band a couple of times. And uh, now it's been six times that I've played with Buddy. Wow. Yeah. Chad Smith, the Chili Peppers as well. That's neat. Yeah. You're going to be playing at RBC Blues Fest again this summer? Yeah, July 13th. July 13th. Mm -hmm. uh, you've done, how many times have you done this festival? Several, probably five or six times. Wow, yeah. never gets old, I guess. No, no, it's awesome. About 30 seconds, let's talk about the details again. So Wednesday, Thursday, where exactly are you recording this live album? It's at uh, La Bazoche, which is the, uh, it's at the Elmer Cultural Center, 120 Rue Principale, and you can get tickets on my website, jw-jones.com, or find the event through my uh, Facebook page, which is JW Jones Blues. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Starts at 7.45, so it's nice and early for everyone who works the next day. They yeah, can course. get back to, you know, get a nice sleep in after seeing our show. J.W. Jones, thank you so much. Thank you. Real pleasure. Carnival for a Cause is coming. We've got details next.